This is Campbell Robertson for the New York Times. Mrs. Lovett and Sweeney Todd, the bloodthirsty duo at the heart of Stephen Sondheim's musical, are not the most traditional stage couple, but are certainly among the most interesting. I recently spoke with Patty Lapone and Michael Cerveris, who were starring in John Doyle's eerie revival of the musical, now on Broadway, about the bizarre band of chemistry they have had to develop on stage. The chemistry, it's, it's almost undefinable, is that the word? Undefinable. You know, you can't, you can't, I don't, see, I can't even talk about it. <laughs> I don't think Unspeakable. <laughs> and that's for light, the worst boys in London. If you doubt it, take a light. <laughs> is that just disgusting? You have to consider. I think there's, a, there's just a great acceptance in, in, um, in, with each other in everything that we do. I mean, I, that is a key to, I think, chemistry. Well, come again when you have judge on the man. At the same time, I feel like we grapple with each other. We're really rough physically and emotionally with each other a lot in these scenes because that's what the scenes require. There, there's a competitiveness in the, in the best sense of I have to be as, as, I have to give as good as what I'm getting, and that keeps, you know, upping the, the stakes all the time, which is great. Down by the sea. The first moment is actually the moment when I connect with Michael as Patty and Michael when he's in the coffin just before they put the lid on. You know, we have about 30 seconds to a minute to talk to each other. And before then, they lid me up. Before, exactly, before the lid goes down. It's like, you know, we look each other in the eyes. How are you? Didn't sleep. Great. Me too. Got gas. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> we have a gaseous company. There should be rules to ensemble playing. <laughs> I want to put it ensemble, the ensemble diet. <laughs> there should really no Mexican be. <laughs> within five hours of the show. Pretend the tale of Sweeney Todd. Pretend the tale of Sweeney Todd. And there's a chemistry created in the ensemble. Mm -hmm. And ensembles are hard to form. There is resistance, where there is not the environment for the actors to embrace each other. I'd like to think that that our kind of chemistry as the as the mom and pop of the our creepy little family on stage, you know, kind of <laughs> extended to them, too. The other thing, there has to be chemistry with the audience. They're the, they're the midpoint in our conversations. You know, when we're both doing a scene directed out front, it's going to them and coming to Patty and, and vice versa. And, and it's, it, makes, it makes absolutely clear that they are the essential medium through which this conversation is going to happen. There's many actors that go out there, drop the fourth wall, and never deal with an audience. I don't know why they're on stage. You have to be open to the varying uh, degrees of humanity that you have to buy a ticket and um, find the chemistry with them. And then the place lights up. Then the place. The, and then you blow the roof off the joint. You just do. Anyone at all?